Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome here tonight, and uh, I'm very happy to see many people here. For those who don't know me, I'm Dr. Olivier, uh, Assistant Governor here in Zone 5 in Ataya. Being a Rotarian is an honor and a privilege, but we don't need to be a Rotarian for helping a neighbor in distress. What makes Rotary powerful and very interesting is two things. The first is fellowship. We have nice fellowship in Rotary. Just look tonight here, people meet together, talk together. And the other thing which makes Rotary very powerful is its foundation. Thanks to the Rotary Foundation, we can make very great humanitarian projects in the world. And we have also the end polio now. Every Rotarian, every club, every Rotary club has a voluntary duty to support the Rotary Foundation. When I, as assistant governor, when I visited the, the Rotary clubs here in Pattaya, I had many questions about the Rotary Foundation. I could answer to some, I couldn't to other, because we don't know everything. And uh, I was thinking maybe it's a good opportunity to make a seminar about the Rotary Foundation. So I called past, pres uh, past district governor Siri, who is the Rotary Foundation district chair here in our district, and he immediately said, yes, I come and I will talk about the Rotary Foundation. It's very important to understand well the Rotary Foundation, to understand why we have to support it, and how we can use the Rotary Foundation to help to, to, to found our project. So I will uh, introduce our guest speaker a little bit for those who doesn't know him. As District Governor Siri Iam Jamrunla is a Rotarian since 2000 in the Rotary Club Nakon Rajatsima. He has been two times president, two times uh, assistant governor, and he was the uh, governor of our district the year 2009-2010. He, he has been a lot involved in uh, the youth exchange during 17 years and now he is the, uh, the Rotary Foundation Chair of District 3340. He is also first level major donor to the Rotary Foundation. He gave today 13,000 US dollars to the Rotary Foundation and he got the service above self from Rotary International. So please welcome as District Governor Siri and please the warm welcome. I would like to thank Dr. Olivier for inviting me to come tonight. It's been a great pleasure and honor that to meet you all. And uh, a lot of time in the district, at the district level, we feel that we we owe a lot of to you guys here in Pattaya. Uh, a lot of time when we do the seminar or, or the textbook or anything, it's all in time, right? You know, and it's quite hard for us to keep you up. Everything that we do in the district level, in English or in German or in, in French. So tonight, I would like to just give you some idea. A lot of you know more than me, okay? And 
like a computer or Dr. Olivier who have uh, done a lot of uh, service project already. However, that I will go up a little bit, okay, in the history of the Rotary International and why do we have to depend on the Rotary Foundation. <coughs> and again, again, I've been here quite a lot of time already in the past. Uh, I have a lot of good friends who have still around and a lot of great friends who have left us already to be the Kun Dennis Stark, right? Kun Ju Telepton. That's the first two uh, gentlemen that I know. I come here 20 years ago and have been greeted by the two gentlemen and mentor, mentor me about the Rotary and Rotary Foundation. A lot of good friends. Uh, you know, I miss a lot of my good friends, to Stefan, okay, to Martin, and to Jan, who recently passed away. So, life goes on. And it's my job come here tonight that why why it's important that I have to come tonight and I think you will agree with me during of my presentation you will see that why we are here tonight and this will answer you and help you understand a little bit, okay? Okay, understand your role, okay, Club Foundation. Everyone here is a part of the one not 1.2 anymore, it's 1.4 million member of the Rotary International already, okay? And I just want to make sure one thing is that when we become a Rotarian, our aim, our goal is service project, right? The fellowship is the thing that driving us together, okay? Achieving a lot of good projects around the world, not only here. However that, the service project is the most important keyword here. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be a big, big project or the smaller one. I know that a lot of you doing, like uh, John Tian, a lot of uh, what, the, the bed, let's see, right, into the sea or something like that. You know, with the Christmas, right, uh, gift every year, uh, all of you do a lot of things. It doesn't matter, but yes, with the great help of the foundation, I can remember that uh, Ethan Zeebot do a lot of water, right? Uh, drinking water and your guy here had been uh, supporting and help, help to uh, Dr. Otma and Margaret do a lot of uh, the artificial limb. Okay, that is service project. Anything that you do to help the community, that is great. Without the, if the service project, the club means nothing. If you come here only for dinner, and that is okay, that is good, you know, for, for chat and chit chat with your friend, but it got nothing there to keep us together. All right? Okay, just motto for the Rotary service about self, right? But for the foundation, doing good in the world. That's it, okay? The world is doing good in the world. Anything that you do to the community, to the world, that is the job, okay, the goal of the Rotary Foundation. You understand goodwill is through the improvement of health, support education, alleviation of poverty. Okay, that is uh, just a, a very general word, right? Okay, just want to make sure that uh, this is the history of the Rotary a little bit, okay? Uh, the 1970 Rotary International Convention in Atlanta, you all know that. We are reading it from in Chicago, right? The 118th year now. Today is, uh, we are celebrating our 118th year. So, we don't, I don't have to talk about Paul Harris, right? The, our father of the Rotary International. But tonight, we are talking about Rotary Foundation. This is Mr. Art Trunks, okay? And he's the one that we consider the father of the Rotary Foundation. He's the one who created us, okay, that uh, 100 years ago. Uh, right now, if I'm not wrong, our asset is more than 1.5 billion, the Rotary International, with the Rotary Foundation. But with the start, okay, of the, in 1917, in Kansas City Rotary Convention, we start the foundation with $26.50. 
hundred year from 2650. Now it's 1.5 billion. Okay, this is what Rotarian around the world sacrifice. Okay, donate and keep doing good in the world. Uh, over the time, hundred year. Okay, uh, just make it in five minutes, right? We do a lot of great things. Uh, so many service projects and so many history behind this. Okay, and if you got anything that you can ask me later, but I will just go on a little bit because my presentation from 100 years, I will have like a 30 minutes or 40 minutes, right? I will make a long story short. Okay. Uh, 11 year, okay, 1928, the road uh, become the Rotary Foundation. Maybe all of you know better than me, right? In US, when you do a lot of things, you're talking about tap, 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 right? The Rotary Foundation is one way, okay, to financial the Rotary International. Whatever you do to the Rotary Foundation, yes, not tax free, but you can deduct it. But not here in Thailand, I'm sorry about that. We are trying to do something about that, but when you donate it to the Rotary International, it's considered donate to the USA, right? The, the, our internal revenue doesn't recognize that. Uh, that's something we are trying to, 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 to do with the government, but it's not easy, okay? Okay, uh, 1930, the foundation made the first gift, okay, to the crippled children. International Society. That what it is, okay? When we start, we didn't start big, but gradually, okay, just like I said to you, 2650 now become the 1.5 billion. And we are looking forward, 25, 25, our asset will become 2 billion US dollar. Okay, that's a lot of money for doing good in the world. Okay, a lot of you have heard. Our first service project, pilot, pilot in Chicago, okay, over what, 1907. Can you tell me why? Why do we have lottery at that time in Chicago? Why pilot? Anyone can tell me? Okay, for guys, right? Whenever you want to, uh, to, to release yourself, you just go into the alley and you just, right, let it out. But for the lady in the past, you know, with all the lady in the past, they dress so heavily, right? And in Chicago, it's, it's really, very cold. So to, to, to uh, finish your business for the girl, that's a big important. And we, on the street in Chicago at that time, and the year, nothing, no, no, no public toilet. So that is considered a very good project. The first one is toilet, who, who know, right? But become now, this is the first, uh, how would I say, historical, right, project. This is something that they've done in the past. Okay, and to tell that uh, the 1947, the scholarship graduate study, and even now, Rotary giving more, the, the most to the uh, graduate for the master degree, okay, and uh, the scholarship, Rotary still giving out every year too. But lately that, uh, what we call in the past is that uh, we can use our money, but if you can apply for the uh, ambassadorial scholarship, and uh, Rotary would provide the master degree with no obligation, with no obligation that they're just giving out okay opportunity for the for the for the student around the world, especially the uh, third world country, all right, not the developing country. Uh, for the third world country or developing country that they're still giving out the scholarship, okay, to the your generous of donation, every dollar count. Again, I would like to emphasize that 1960 award the technical and training who study exchange CSE. We all know that we are the professional, right? The leading businessman who have time, who have resource, who have money to go out and do the service project, to go out and to be a service of there. If you don't, uh, actually we're off a little bit. I always make a uh, joke that to become a Rotarian, you want 
sacrifice yourself, right? You lost in time. You come here, listen to me. Okay, you lost in money because I'm gonna ask you to donate soon, eh? At the end of the session. And a lot of time you are fighting with your friend when you want to get your idea across, right? But after the project is done, when you see the community again by what you're doing with a good impact, then you know, hey, you know, what the heck do it again, right? So I would say, you know, lost money, lost time, and sometimes get fine with your friend, but eventually you are doing good in the world. So we are keep doing it day in and day out. That's why Kun Peter been a lot friend for 30, 40 years already, right? And still going on. And just like you guys here, just like me, you know, thing thing is not easy as we can see, but we have to overcome problem and what we again is doing good in the world. The exchange, good study exchange is no more, but uh, in the past, we are concentrated in vocational because the four people, the four founder is from the four professional, right? Get together and they're sitting, eating, uh, drink coffee every, uh, every week and they think that why we are just do, don't do anything for other people. That's why they keep rotating the office from office, right? This time, this week is my house, next week is going to be your... And then eventually the word rotate coming up with the rotary because they rotate the office and eventually later on they have the office, they have the headquarters, right? In Chicago, in, in uh, Evanston. Again, this is the key word, matching grant. The Rotary Fund award more than 37,000 matching grants worth well over 500 billion, more than 200 countries. In this room, Eastern Seaboard, John Tian, Marina, had get the better impact. When I said you do the service project, you do a lot of good things for the orphanage here, right? Uh, in this Pattaya area. But Rotary consider that if you do the matching grant in the past, the project is about uh, 10,000 US dollar, okay? Uh, it's, it's considered what, 300,000 baht. You know, you put in like a, usually we said you put in 10, 10 uh, one quarter. And then Rotary uh, in Japan or in America, in uh, Canada, German, uh, put in another quarter. It become 50 cents, right? Foundation giving another 50 cents. From one quarter become one dollar. That's why it's get a, a better impact, right? Instead of you buy one machine, if you do through the Rotary Foundation, you can get four machines. But it's not easy that one, two, three, right? You got to have an international partner. You got to have the DBF uh, money that been uh, accumulated over the year, all right? So, Consider now 37,000 matching grant divided or the 500 million, what? One, one point, one million or something, right? Average shape, okay? So that's what we call greater impact to the foundation. What you've been doing is great already, but with the foundation, it's a win-win situation. I will go on a little bit why I keep saying that, all right? Again and again, huh? you, uh, the 3 H grant is uh, no more. Health, hunger, and humanity. Usually the matching grant they award up to like a 10 or 30,000, but with the health and hunger, it become like a 200,000. Bigger project over three or five years. But this project had been, had, had been gone already. It's uh, out of date, okay? So this is something that we keep doing, okay? around the world. Aha, uh -huh, okay, nice t The first three H can on Corio, huh? The first one, again, the Corio outbreak, the first time that we know in Lottery World is in Philippines. It's outbreak in Philippines and then that's why they have been giving out the three H grant with the immunization of 6 million children in Philippines. That is the start. That is the start that we are keep doing it now. Okay, and we are that close. We are, that's what I always said, right? You see that Chen Long or uh, the big figure around the world said, we are only two countries that 
uh, we are need to eradicate, right? Pakistan and Afghanistan. Consider that uh, it's still uh, polio uh, spreading. Uh, who had been listened that, uh, I mean, two weeks ago, right? Outbreak, right? There is a, a polio report in New York, New York City, with the polio. Is that happened? Yes. Because uh, everyone in this room can be the, the transporter, right? Transmitter. No, we are grown up, we, we, we got immune with the polio. But the kid who under five years old and doesn't get immunization with the polio vaccine, if you get the, the virus anyway, just like COVID, it's going everywhere in 24 hours. Whenever you flow uh, across the continent, that you are the transmitter already. If the kid under five years old doesn't get immunization, then the outbreak is going to have to happen. Again, this is the key word, okay? Together, contribute more than 2.5 billion countless hours, okay, to fight. And uh, we immunize more than 400 million children every year. That's a lot of money and a lot of sacrifice from you and me. When you donate even $100, okay, that will go one way or another, that will help to fight the polio. Okay, doesn't matter that uh, Bill Gates himself and Melinda Foundation giving 500 billion already. I giving over the 20 years, I give 13,000, uh, maybe uh, more or less, but who cares? You know, my money is going to help a lot of kids uh, free from polio. Okay, that's it, that I felt good already. I'm glad that my kid doesn't get polio and I hope that no more kids in the world would cripple by the polio. If I, I, I would get my heart broke, right? Heart, heart shut. If I see the kid cripple and could not help themselves, their life is gone. And that we can prevent it. If we, we each of us, giving it a little bit, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, I would maybe a little service project and guideline to the Okay, again, right? You address genuine need, okay? Okay, involve club member. Yes, the club president and the, 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 the board member can do a lot of this, but if you do through the club, the whole club together, okay, that would be considered uh, the way the Rotary would like to have, okay? The club all in together, a little bit by little, okay? Again, with the Rotary Foundation, they have an area of focus that they concentrate, okay? But anything you do in your own, in your own level, in your own city, is a service project. With the greater impact, if you need the support or the money from the Rotary Foundation, that's the greater impact, all right? Create partnership, right? With the help from Japan, from around the world, from uh, America, Europe, okay, anywhere. Without the, your international, you cannot do the project because it's more like an accountability, right, and transparency. They, they trust us, but, you know, if you got someone who is uh, around half the world can trust you, huh? then they will trust me too, right? It's only that we cannot do it. Uh, just, hey, we do it. Uh, we, we create a lot of things. No one check it. That would not be clear. No, it's not transparency, you know? Good financial stewardship, okay? I will go on a little bit about that. This is why, why, okay? Make sustainable impact. For us, for the past 10 years, with our King Lama, the late Lama King, not the night, right? We are talking about self-sufficient. We are talking about the sustainable project. Again, Lottery Foundation also want the project to be sustainable. Just not that you keep it over and then gone, by gone, no. It should be go on after you hand it over, right? The project should go on by itself, okay? It doesn't need us anymore, okay? Create lottery awareness, okay? Ensure accountability and transparency. This will keep coming up. Why? When you use the money, don't get by the whole world, 1.2 or 1.4 billion uh, member, right? But many million, I'm sorry, not, not billion, 1.2 million. It's not your money. 
it's the one the money that don't know inform the people your friend around the world so the money have to be well spent otherwise if you don't know that your money is going away you will not do, do it right when you want to do the then you tell the needy you go out you see the beggar and they ask for money for 100 baht you buy them food you feel good the guy in need you know feel that stomach for that day right at least he can sleep with his stomach full and he don't uh, need uh, help uh, the hunger right and keep him up all night you feel good but that's not uh, sustainable right that's not sustain that's only buy him one meal a day maybe you could think of how to get him out of the street right that is would be the uh, sustainable one all right and this is what lottery area of focus i think is all involved everything right from peace building and conflict prevention we are talking about it a lot of people asking the lottery uh, leader that when the we eradicate for you all that's our signature project right we spent to fund five billion what is going to be the rotary next move you know like a signature project you are talking about peace and conflict what the war around well, around the, the half of the world with the russia and ukraine uh, how about the the you're talking about the climate change what could it be that's very really interesting that where we can head it but when you talk about this this big issue you talk about financial you talk about money and money without the money without the donation from each of us nothing we can do at all all right you're talking about water and sanitation that's what Ethan Seabot is doing a lot all right <laughs> maternal child health you do the med uh, medical equipment you do the incubator you do the ventilator uh, basic education and literacy the best way to find the poverty is education right you have to educate people to get them out of the vicious path poverty you cannot do without equip them with the knowledge and get them to to, to work uh, find them the good thing to do by themselves not by handing out them the money that's what the uh, lottery would like to do and you're talking about community economic development this is what our king right like Taman, i would like to see that so self-sufficient okay and you can do it with your own not become a millionaire but at least you can fulfill and help your family to go on with your everyday life okay and the biggest and the last one that coming in into the seventh area of focus we are talking about the environment now we can do the project with the environment and i will go in detail a little bit how can you do it okay we are talking about the rotary trf is the rotary foundation grant okay type of rotary grant you are talking about this big grant we don't do much about this you can you use the money that you uh, accumulate over the year and you can add that if like a uh dr have saved up two or three thousand ddf eh? the dr Pattaya can request the district to use it okay at your at your choosing okay and you don't have to ask anyone else except that the project have to be doing good in your community right and uh, that help the needy or anything you don't need to report you will report later on after you finish the project but you don't need to get the approval from the from the uh, lottery foundation this is what we're talking about the district grant okay like uh, your own money you can do whatever you want to you're talking about global grant this is something that we are keep doing it but it's not easy that i told you that with the global grant uh i will it will go detail with it it's not that you want to do you can do you got to have international partner you got to have the minimum money like right? it's a uh, one is thirty thousand us dollar it's about nine hundred thousand or one million baht. you cannot make it lesser than that okay but more yes but not less the scale again this is something new this is uh, uh in Zambia they do the malaria the project worth is two million US dollar wow okay that's for the whole country so that is something that if we're gonna do in Thailand we probably need the four district for 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 district in Thailand together to do something maybe about 
some I don't know malaria yeah about some some of the big big uh, medical issue the scale grant this is just only two years already uh, only had been introduced this is quite new one but it's quite too big okay for for anyone this week to do probably for the whole country and uh, disaster response grant uh, we did it only once when the COVID-19 outbreak uh, maybe you can remember in the Kun Malua, yeah? Malua year, we do the mass and we giving out to every every crop. The white mass that uh, the lottery provide us with the, the money, then we choose that if for every crop and the best we can do that we do the mass and giving out to all the district. That is a disaster less one grant. You can go into more detail, look it up in the website. Uh, but what I will concentrate, okay, is a global plan that uh, that was suitable for most of the crop in our district, all right? Okay, the, again, they're put, talking about future of the global brand, okay? Again, the first word, transparency. But to be transparency, otherwise, people will not donate. If they don't know you, you spend money, you have their money wisely and uh, transparency. No one will donate it, okay? If you don't know where your money is going, you will not do it. Accountability, again, this word, two words keep coming up and we'll go out with the Rotary, the foundation work, okay? Sustainable and measurable. Again, this is what the three essence for the uh, global plan. Okay, I will go. This will, will, will go maybe if you want to talk some more. I can go into detail, but this is more like a technical, and I don't think I have time to, to do that. Okay, uh, the crop. Okay, the initiate project with review by the Mansell, the IFC, right, and authorize on it. Uh, manager, the, the regional at the low foundation review and approve. Yeah. Okay, when. Big, big project, it got to be approved by the Foundation Board of Trustees, okay? But for the normal, for the 30,000, usually the staff will just uh, look in. They cannot just a uh, small project, go to the Board of Trustees. They got, didn't have time for that, okay? If something over 50,000 and one dollar, they have the CADE, right? They call it CADE or CADE, right? To go in and more detail they'll probably call you up and ask for more detail before they approve it. Again, right? Accountability and transparency. Okay, have initiate project, host or international together, all right? Yeah, all right? Community assessment project. Again, now you've got to go into detail. In the past, you do and you answer later, but now uh, a lot of projects have been uh, applied for. So the Rotary want to be sure that all the money will spend. So that you need to do the need assessment, okay? Which means you have to answer all the details first with the, when you apply for the global grant with the foundation, okay? And then, okay, invite tender or vendor for the quotation. You should not just one vendor, right? They should be the best price. I'm not saying the cheapest one. Eh? The best price is the one, the price that is uh, good for the for the thing that you want to buy. It's not always the cheapest one is the best uh, is the best offer. Okay, fundraising both local and international. Okay, online application now. Now you do everything online, back and forth. They will ask you back over the uh, inter, uh, your mail, right? And this thing, sometimes uh, Dr. Otmar <laughs> and my great father had me, it takes time to answer, right? When uh, maybe two weeks, one month, it takes time. So now they change a little bit, okay? But I cannot promise, maybe, maybe not in time or not, all right? Okay? Yeah, question, a lot of questions will be asked before they let you have the money. Community assessment, vendor quotation, okay, training plan, letter request, okay, MOU, okay, you got to have MOU with the international beneficiary. 
Okay, I think this is something that uh, uh, I will not go into detail. I think you can read it up. I will just give you the broad view, okay? Uh, I, I will not go into this detail a little bit because this is something technical, what, what your money has been giving in the, in the past, okay? Now, in the past when you do the global grant, you can use the cash to do it, but now, no more. Only the DDF that will accumulate. Otherwise, uh, we lost a lot, uh, we don't have enough money to go around, all right? Okay, and, okay, now, I think this is something concerning us, and I think everyone, 1.4 million of the Rotarian can be participate with the $50 or $100, all right, okay? Afghanistan, 56 cases, Pakistan, 84 cases. That 2020, yeah, the number lower. However, that, why, why do these two countries still, we cannot do the immunization? There's still a uh, fighting going on. And probably a lot of you heard that when our volunteer and I feel bad that mostly the lady volunteer get killed, get shot. I never heard that the male volunteer get shot, only the female. That is something curious, huh? Okay. So in there, they're still fighting. But I heard that the Taliban also approve of the Rotary work, uh, volunteer to go in because they, they know that that kid is the victim of the polio too, with the Taliban up for, but there's still a lot of groups that stuck uh, still fighting one another. That's why with, uh, in Afghanistan and Pakistan, the, uh, the, we cannot do the 100% immunization, all right? Okay, Bill Gates said, only two countries, it's not easy. We need a few billion eh, before we are setting the data. 25, 25, 25, 25. We hope that we can eradicate the problem once and for all. This is what you can do, okay, through the Bill and Melinda game. Okay, it's a cash, okay, that if you put one dollar, okay, you donate one dollar, Bill can give you two. It's become free to the polio money, all right? Right? If you uh, give me 100 and we give it to the Lottery Foundation, Bill Gates will match it up. They'll give 200. Your 100 become what? 300. Okay, this is understandable, right? But with the Bill Gates and Merida Gates, if you use the DDF, the money that you save over the year, okay, the DDF will match you 50 cents. $1 uh, will become, okay, Three dollar, okay, and then it's become okay for one dollar. Uh, Bill Gates will give two, right? Dollar fifty become three dollar, okay, and uh, with the Bill Gates, then instead of three dollar, it's become four point five, four four and a half dollar. So your your DDF money is uh, worth it more, okay, and then you can check it if you have the DDF in your record. You can say, hey, Kunsuri, we're not going to do any global grant project. How about uh, we would like to donate it, okay? Yes, I appreciate your care contribution, but with the DDF, it make more impact. It's got more money going to the Oreo Trust Fund, okay? One to two, huh? This is what we'll get, Tesh, okay? That if the Rotarian got more money in, he will match it up. But that's a limit, okay? One hundred and fifty million for the next two years. Okay, this is something that maybe you need to know, okay? Uh, now, this is the 2021, right? One part two billion. But again, I told you already, it's one part five now, 22, 23, huh? And all this, you can look it up, okay? It's in the website. Every one of you who is a Rotarian have the account, and all this a figure is there for you to look it up, 
Okay, but this one, uh, I just pick it up for you to see what is going on. All right, okay. We have been immunization three billion children. Okay, over the almost forty year, and we spend money like a two point two billion already. Okay. Again, we are talking about global grant. Uh, for 2020, we do 2,066 global grant, total worth of 130 million. This is going to the seven area of focus I told you before. Huh? Okay, and we have a district grant that we don't usually do. The district grant is 31 million. Okay. Disaster response grant, we don't do that much at all. We, we have disaster, but uh, just like a we are facing now, like in Pakistan, right? When something happened, it happened fast. We can send cash or something. But for the relief, long run, that's up to the government of each country. We can help them with the water, maybe some 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 food or some some cleaning water, right? But actually, we don't have enough to 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 do every disaster response. Okay, we do only what we can, right? Okay, and. Okay, um, I will not go into detail that much, okay, that we have the peace center, we have the, uh, around the, the world, we have like a seven university that giving the master degree, but uh, also in Tulalongkorn, we have the short, short, short course, only for three months, diploma only, that uh, do the peace building in Tulalongkorn, and our district not yet endorse anyone to go and learning, eh? because it's only the short course and it hardly uh, quite hard for us to recruit uh, the, the one who want to go because it's all teaching in English or uh, all the lecturer come abroad from the international uh, lecturer so everything you do is in English the paper, the test, everything so it's not easy to have the Thai partic uh, participant but you can look it up and any club can adopt with the foundation money, you don't have to spend the money at all. All you have to do is recruit, recruit a good candidate. Okay, again, this is what program scale grant, right? Marilla Free Sambia program, the award, total of two million. That is 20 in 21. This is like a, a, will be matched, okay? Four million in finding our partner. This is something that we can think, but I think it's too big at the moment for our district, the scale grant, maybe we look it up, maybe we can do something for the whole Thailand, not only Thailand, but maybe with Laos and Cambodia together, maybe some impact. But talking about two million, you need something like a, a professional to handle that much money, right? You need to have office, you have, need to have the people who will look it day in and day out. This is not Rotarian. Not, not really for our, 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 our ability, I think. Maybe if anyone has really time and really have some great project, yes. But I don't think that uh, uh, for average club can do, okay? Again, this word I want to emphasize, okay, and emphasize you. When I come here, I tell you to donate. I'm asking for your donation of $100 each, every Lotarian, I told you already. Every dollar that go will help for you or will help the kid, will help the clean drinking water, right? But don't listen to me, you know. I want your money, I will say anything, right? You know, just like you got to go back to your club and they will, hey, president, why do I have to donate? Why are you asking me to donate? My money will spend a lot. This is the, uh, the charity navigator is the organization that letting Okay, give the point to every of, uh, foundation in in US and Lottery is one of them. We got four star. This is the highest uh, ranking that we can. Why? Okay, this is why. Okay, okay, no, they don't have it that. Every dollar that you giving to the foundation, every dollar. They already proved that 91 cents, okay? Which means that 91% go to the 
to the people like a project that you are doing. Only nine cents been using by the foundation, like uh, for the administration or for their salary for anything. So I'm here on my own. Okay, you are here. You buy the dinner. You pay for yourself. Each of us doing the project. Doctor Akma, Kun Kao, Kun Peter, John Ted. We got no pay, right? We have to take it out of our pocket. So we. Yes, please, sir. And so you can ask, uh, you mentioned a, a quarter from, for a, both from, a quarter from the club, a quarter from an international and half from the uh, foundation. Can that international quarter be from a business partner as opposed to uh, an international club? Uh, in the past, they can use the cash, right, to do it. But now, got to be the DDF money. Okay, the structure of the DDF money is that you donate, let's say this year $100 in Sorry. your name eh, to the foundation and you, you yeah. put this one in the annual program fund. They will give it back. They will have this money and invest it, right? And the lottery uh, collect about $400 million each year donation. They will not put in the saving account, right? It's pointless. So they, they manage it, but invest it in the money market. Eh? They invested in the bond uh, stock or something, right? And there is company who represent the lottery to, okay, I will try to make 12% return on investment or something like that. Lottery will add, uh, invest that money over three years and uh, get the interest back, right? And then uh, every three years, your $100 will come back to the district, to me, yeah? $50. I will put forty dollar in your account in your club, not you, eh? Let's say that you are from Ethan Seaboard, let's say, eh? Then I will put forty dollar in the Ethan Seaboard account, and that's a DDF money. Then you can use that DDF money to get the global uh, grant with your international partner. I think the last one that Ethan Seaboard do, we do, we got forty five thousand from Josh Wood, eh? From Essex from Pennsylvania and then we do project is more than uh, almost a hundred thousand US dollar. That the money, DDF money, but it's not a cash. You have to accumulate it over the three years. Then the money, if you donate one thousand, it come back four hundred and seventy five dollar. The district will take seventy five dollar before we, we get one hundred. Every one thousand is they keeping back five hundred, right? But now they only give us 475. So the district take it into the center pool, $75, and then I will record it in your crowd, 400. And that accumulate every year. But things change a little bit is that now in the past, this money uh, can go on and go on. But you know that in the lottery world, the DDF money in every district, let alone don't use uh, several hundred million. A lot of crap don't 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 do project at all. Don't, they don't do project at all. They just keep that money into their account. And the money there is no good to anyone, right? So now if you don't use it in five years, they will charge back. Okay, they will make you uh, donate it into the World Fund or Polio Fund or something. So we encourage all the crap. Whatever you have, then you need to use it. And then if you have the DDF money, sir, and you have the friend in, in, in Holland, in, in Netherlands, or anywhere in Japan, if you have like a 4,000 US dollar DDF, right? And your friend have another 6,000. Together, okay, it's become 10,000. Lottery have to put it 8,000, okay? So instead of 4,000, your friend 6,000, Instead of 10,000, it become 18,000. In the past, it become double, right? But now, you got less a little bit. Did you follow me, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I followed you, what you were saying, and then asked me to repeat it. Okay. Uh, it was, uh, my, my point was around, can you have a business partner as opposed to an international club? Yeah, but let me put it this way. Now, in the past, a lot of crap support by the, by the local 
local business, okay, don't have to be a Rotarian. At that time, you use the care, they, they will, Rotary will give 50%, but no more, right? They only say a DDF, which means that you have to save money, but if you have, let's say that Rotary, just like I told you that, I take 70 of uh, $475 into the uh, district account, right? You can come and borrow. I have some left le le right, maybe like a $5,000 or $10,000. If you have someone who willing to donate it, then I can loan you, exchange it for, for the time being. I have some central uh, money yeah, that you can use. Otherwise, you cannot wait for two years to do the project, right? But the district have some money in the central uh, account that I can loan you. Okay, let's say that maybe the one-on-one, -on -one, if you can ask them to donate 5,000, I allow you to use the district 5,000 in there, okay? Maybe something like that, we can work it out, all right? But now, for the long run, you need to donate for the, for the future, okay? Otherwise, if everyone use it, the, the water in the, in the gas will go on, right? If you keep doing it and no one fill it in, huh? so we have to keep donating. A lot of time, a lot of time, think about doing this for two years. No, I think that when you do it now, you help eradicate the polio, okay? You help the kid doing good in the world, right? Then whatever come back in two years, that's something that you can get in the future. But if you've got a good project now, work it out with me, I can loan you. Let's say exchange it for what the money I have. If I don't use it, they will confiscate in, in five years anyway, anyhow, right? So, between situation, you have someone, some corporate friend to, to donate in their name, sir, in their name. They will recognize by me to be the Paul Harris fellow, okay? It doesn't matter it got to be Rotarian or not. When they donate it in their name, we have their ID and classify them as a non-Lotarian, okay? So this is transparency and accountability, all right? A lot of time, our club now in, in Isan, the, the hospital have the foundation, every hospital have the foundation to help them finance with the machine or, or, the, or the stuff that they need, right? So uh, local people, we donate to the foundation, not lottery, eh? So now, we cannot just put everything out of pocket, Lord Aaron, right? You just have to put in 10,000 every year, 10,000 every year. Now, some of the crop you ask the, uh, the hospital to donate it, okay? Take that money and turn it into the, just like I said, quarter to quarter, right? And become, in, in the past, it's become a dollar, but now quarter and quarter become 80 cents now. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? That's the way it is. Because each year the, Global grant has been doubled. A lot of people in the third world country and uh, in Latin American country, Africa country, right? They need it more than, than us, I tell you too, right? Okay, in Thailand here, the water we have, but not clean. But for the Thai people, I think it's clean enough. But consider to the world standard, it's not. But some of the other country, the lady have to walk like a five, five, five kilometer, right? to carry the water back for drinking and it's a what, greenish, right? It looks not drinkable at all. That's where Lottery Foundation still have to do good, okay? Provide the drinking water. Yes, sir. I think, I think that answers your question. Yes, sir. How can the club know how much uh, uh, funds they have in the district fund? Uh, each year I will announce it, okay? And if you can ask me that, I can check your record that how much you accumulated, okay? Uh, normally, at the, during our district training as a breed, okay, we will announce that how many, uh, how many you got in your record. Everyone who donated uh, to the Rotary Foundation, I will keep the record and advice, okay? And uh, I, I can look it up and let you know that uh, if the crop donated, okay, and accumulate over the year, then yes, you can check with me. I'll, I'll, I'll announce it uh, July every year, okay, for the crop to know that how much they have, okay. 
Anything else? Okay, I think we are hungry. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, Dr. Olivier. Well, thank you very much for this series. Uh, um, I would like now to invite, we have five presidents here. Uh, please come here and uh, we would like to thank you and give you some token. So please, uh, Awa, Jana, Kare, Steve. We grab to answer, okay, in more detail, okay, in more detail. Oh, uh, I tell you the truth. If your club meeting, okay, is need for me to encourage your member to donate, I'll be grab, okay. I'll be glad to be your guest speaker and answer whatever they need to know. But uh, I think the best thing is that the president and the foundation got to help me a little bit, right? Or spreading the word. I'm still looking that from every club to donate this year. At least, you know, I'm not saying $150. In US, you got application, yet you can donate anytime. But not us yet, right? But you can do it online. I would urge that every club at least giving something because the government need to fulfill the goal uh, of the club participating, okay, of donate. Donation. I'll be glad to help if you let me know. I'll be glad to come here and help you to create with your club member, okay, or encourage them to 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 be the uh, lottery foundation donor. Okay, thank you. So now the, the dinner will be served. Bon appétit. Uh, just one uh, uh, information: uh, the Rotary Club at Taya Marina, as you heard makes uh, the polio day and this year uh, president ava and the members of the club will organize a masquerade on october the 21st it's a friday so it will be an information about polio it, be, it will be a fundraising event and it will be a fun event so uh, we will send, I think we send already, but we will send again the invitation for the 21st of October. So, bon appétit. I just would like to ask past district governor Peter to say maybe a few words to encourage us all to donate to the Rotary Foundation. Please, Peter. Fellow Rotarians, all the presidents, I've been a Rotarian for almost 40 years and every time I sit to listen to you, the Rotary, you can learn. I just want to say this, a lot of times people, when you when you talk about the Rotary Foundation, most Rotarians will cringe. They say whenever we go to a Rotary Foundation seminar, then they're going to ask us for money. It's going to cost us money. And sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's the truth, but it's not, it doesn't work that way. What you listen to today is that the money that you are donating, it doesn't go into the district governor's pocket or into Siri's pocket or anybody's pocket. Every penny that you donate is going to the poor people that need our help. It gets there. It doesn't matter whether we do the project here in Thailand or in a district, but somewhere in the world, that money that you donate is helping. It's helping the people to get water, to get an education, to get medicine, and to get all sorts of things to keep their life going. So, in your clubs, I suggest and I recommend, just like PDG Siri recommended, is to try to raise some money every year. Let people donate. 
In Rotary, they used to ask for $1,000 donation per year, and you become a Paul Harris fellow by donating that amount. But nowadays, but even in the old days, you could actually donate only $100 a year, and you become a sustaining member. Today it's called E-R-E-Y, which means every Rotarian every year. And we try to encourage every Rotary member to donate $100 a year. But you donate that for 10 years, and you can donate more in a year, and every time you reach $1,000, you become a you become, <laughs> you become a Paul Harris Fellow immediately. And a Paul Harris Fellow is the highest honor that anybody, either you're a Rotarian or a non-Rotarian, can receive from Rotary. So it's a, it's, it's a big deal. As a Rotarian, it's a big deal. It's an honor that, that everybody strives for. It doesn't have to be 13,000 like District of the Syria donated. Be $100. A thousand dollars, and when you put a Paul Harris panel pin on your lapel, you recognize everywhere for doing what you've done. Not because you donated money, and not because you're going to get face, but because you have helped so many people in the world to do good for them. And especially now with the polio thing, uh, to end the polio, this is something that we like to do because. If we don't stop polio now, it's going to get it back to us one day. And I'm not here to, to give you another long speech, but I'd like to say a big thank you to past District Governor Siri for coming here this evening to give us so much information and knowledge. And I'd like you all to give a big hand to past District Governor Siri. And whenever Assistant Governor Dr. Olivier invites you for any sort of a seminar to come because it does make sense. In Rotary, we, a lot of us are in Rotary for many, many years and we tend to forget. We tend to just take it for granted that we're in Rotary, the end justifies the means. If we can give money to the children and do what we're doing, that's it. But that's not true. To be a member of Rotary, to be a Rotarian, you need to learn about that organization, about this great organization, because there's more to it. The more you know about Rotary, and the more you know what we can do with Rotary, or with, together with Rotary, then you'll see how much more good we can do in the world. That's all I have to say now. Thanks. Okay. 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 Okay.